Hello everyone, this is Daily Desperation and it is a great uh, privilege to share with you the Word of God and this is so inspiring about our topic for today is about the beauty of forgiveness. So this is the beauty of forgiveness. This is the story about the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 24 and I will read it. So, in verse 11, to illustrate the point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. Verse 12, the younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. Verse 13, a few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all of his money in wild living. In verse 14, about the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land and began to starve. Verse 15, he persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into his field to feed the pigs. Verse, 9, verse 16, so the young man became so hungry and even the, the pads he was feeding the pigs looked good to him but no one gave him anything verse 17 when he finally came to his senses he said to himself at home even the hard servants have food enough to spare and here i am dying of hunger verse 18 i will go home to my father and say father I have seen against both heaven and you. In verse 19, I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me as a hard servant. Verse 20, so he returned home to his father, and while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming, filled with love and compassion. And he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. And verse 21, his son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Verse 22, but his father said to the, to the servants, Quick, bring the father's robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet verse 23 and kill the calf we had been fattening we must celebrate with a feast verse 24 for his son of my, for this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life he was lost but now he is found so the party began well this is a great story about the prodigal son we call this story the about the prodigal son but it could also be called the parable of the loving father. So it is, emphasizes the graciousness of the father more than the sinfulness of his son. Note in the story, these are the three experiences of the younger son. The first thing is rebellion. He went to the far country in verse 11 to 16. So according to the Jewish law, an elder son received twice as much as the other son. In Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 17. So a father could distribute his wealth during his lifetime if he wished. But it was perfectly legal for the youngest son to ask for his share of the estate and even to sell it. But it was certainly not a very loving thing on his part. It was though he were saying to his father, I wish you, would, you were dead. So we are always heading for trouble whenever we value things more than people. Pleasure and blessing we have at our home. So why Jesus told us to be aware of covetousness in Luke chapter 12, verse 15? Because covetousness person can never be satisfied 
no matter how much he requires. So dissatisfied life leads to a disappointed life. So this younger son dreamed of enjoying his freedom from, from a far home, from away from his father and his older brother, and he wanted to have his own way, so he rebelled against his own father and broke his father's heart. But life is the, in the far country was not what he expected. So his resources ran out, his friends left him, and a famine came. So the boy was forced to do for a stranger when he would not do for his own father. So sin, number one sin is, sin promises freedom, but it only brings slavery. As what in John chapter 8 verse 34, it says there that Jesus replied that, uh, it says that I tell you, I tell you the truth that everyone who sin is a slave of sin. So everyone who sin is a slave of sin. Sin promises success, but but brings failure. And it promises life, but the wages of sin is death. That's what in Romans chapter 6 verse 23. So the, the boy thought he would find himself, but he was lost himself. So when God left out of our lives, my friends, and that enjoyment becomes and becomes enslavement. So the second thing, after the rebellion, here comes the repentance, the experience of this boy. And he came to himself. So to repent means to change one's mind. And that is exactly what the boy did as he cared for the pig. So the young man changed his mind about himself and his situations and he admitted to his, the, to he, he admitted that he was a sinner. So it is God's goodness, not just man's badness, that leads us to repentance. In Romans chapter 2 verse 4, Don't you see how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? So does this mean nothing to you? Can't you see that His kindness is intended to turn you from your sin. So if the boy had thought only about himself, his hunger, his homesickness, his loneliness, and he would have despaired at the time. But his painful circumstances helped him to see his father in a new way, and then it brought him hope in that situation. So my friend, that this boy has this realization. And then after that, he realized everything that he has done to his father. So he has this repentance and he go back to his father and to ask forgiveness. And here comes the third thing that this boy experienced is rejoicing. He came to the, to, he came to the father in verse 20 to 24. So the father never did permit the younger son to finish his confession. He interrupted him. So forgive him and order the celebration to begin. Wow, this is a great mercy of the father. This is a great love of the father. Everything the younger son had, had, uh, had hoped to find in the far country, now he discovered back home the clothes, the jewelry, the, the friends, the joyful celebration, the love, and even the assurance for the future was at his home. So in our conclusion, my dear friends, we all had been like the son in this story who had other, other plans for, him, for our lives that, that his father had for him. So we have all run away from our Heavenly Father 
in Romans chapter 3 verse 10 to 12 it says there that uh, verse 10 as the scriptures say no one is righteous not even one and verse 11 no one is uh, tr truly wise no one is seeking God and verse 12 all have turned away all have become useless no one does does good not a single one so that prodigal son the ring was a sign of sonship and the best robe was a proof of his acceptance back into the family and the feast was the father's way of showing his joy and sharing it to others wow this is a great celebration of the father because his son was lost and now he found his son that's why there is a celebration my dear friends as we come back home in the presence of God our Heavenly Father will rejoice and he will share it that joy to everyone thank you so much and I hope that this message will give us more encouragement that wherever we go in a far far country or in far of the presence of God we can still come back into his presence because God will accept us wholeheartedly. Thank you so much. And again, this is the Read Inspiration who give you an encouragement through the Word of God. God bless everyone.